Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Come to Mary and Joseph. Hallelujah. 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 You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. As you come online and as you log in, settle down and we begin to, to pray. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God for the grace that is bringing us here today and uh, thank God for his goodness and for his mercy. We just entered the 13th day. Wow! Hallelujah! 13th day of waiting. Wow! Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall walk and not faint. They shall walk and never be weary. They shall run and they will never faint. My prayer is that even as you walk in 2021, you will never be weary. And as you run, the race of great faith, you will not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 13th day of prayer, 13th day of fasting, 13th day of waiting upon the Lord, 13th day of presenting our intentions before Him, 13 days. Wow, it has not been easy, but God has been faithful. And I want to thank you for always, um, you know, logging on and uh, logging in and uh, be part of this prayer. I want to really appreciate you. Amen. God will bless you. God will strengthen you. And God will God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. So I want to strongly encourage you to Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have been so blessed for all the days that we have had here. I have been so, so, so blessed. In fact, I am even learning new things. You know, I'm even learning, but you may not know. I'm even learning as well. So I thank God. There's no better way to begin 2021 than to begin with prayers like this, than to begin with waiting upon the Lord like this, than to begin than having all your names dwelling in the presence of the Lord. So, what a way to begin the year. It's my prayer that God will give us the grace to finish well. Yes. God will give us the grace to finish well. All the blessings made for us in 2021 will not pass us by hallelujah and that is our prayer today can we quickly take a short prayer now as we you know uh, continue the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen father in the name of jesus precious father we thank you eternal rock of ages we worship you, we glorify your name. We bow before your presence. We bow before your majesty. We bow before that great throne where you make the earth your, your throne and the, where you make the heavens your throne and the earth your footstool. We bow before that great throne. We worship your majesty. Father, we come before you today, today to exercise our authority that you have given to us. To exercise that authority over every affairs of life. Authority that we have received through your son Jesus. Oh, thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, ancient of days. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. 
let your Holy Ghost pray through us today. Let your Holy Spirit pray through me, pray through you, and pray through everyone here today. As we exercise our authority, what we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And what we lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Thank you, Father. We ask for the intercession of our mother, Mary, mother of perpetual health. At the middle of this night, stand in the gap for us, O Virgin Mother Mary. It has it for every one of us. Let those who desire to settle down in marriage get their life partner. Let those who are believing God for fruitfulness testify in fruitfulness. Let those who are believing God for a breakthrough Mother Mary put a word across to your son and let there be a testimony. Let there be a testimony. Let there be a testimony. Make this year a glorious year as you stand in the gap for as many as those who are logging in right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, because we are going into a warfare and we do battle this midnight, said Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle and be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. That as we pray, may God rebuke him, Lucifer, and his weapons, and his moves. And to that whole prince of heavenly hosts, you, angel Michael the archangel, and the divine power of God, cast into hell, Satan, and all evil spirits who prowls around the world seeking for the ruin of souls that the souls of everyone who lie here today will be safe in your hands. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And may that Holy Spirit arrest anyone that we hide under the guise of being online. May you are exhibiting the work of your father, the devil. Deception. You want to deceive somebody. You want to impersonate Father Alfred. You want to ask. You want to give negative information. May that Holy Spirit arrest that man, that woman, that soul that you will not see the light of day thank you Abba Father so shall it be Amen Hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus we give God the glory today for this 13th day we say thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and mercies. We say thank you, Jesus, for all that you have been and we continue to be. We say thank you, Jesus, for your mighty hand of favor. We say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now connect yourself. Today we are exercising our authority. Now connect yourself. Connect yourself, connect your husband, connect your family to this arena of prayer. Yes, connect yourself, connect your family, connect your loved ones to this arena of prayer. Now go ahead, one minute, connect yourself. Today we are exercising our authority. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Connect yourself and connect your family. Something great is about to happen on this platform this night. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Abba Father. Connect yourself. Connect yourself. 
Connect your household, connect your loved ones. Connect your household, connect your loved ones. Yes, connect, 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 connect. Thank you, Jesus. Declare that as you exercise your authority here today, what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Open your mouth and declare that. Makababo, liga babo sakade. Yes, as I exercise my authority, as I exercise my authority, as I exercise my authority, what I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Open your mouth and declare that. Maribo sakade, liga donde, liga donde, mazadede, 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 ayonde. Yes, what I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Open your mouth and declare that right now. Mazekatonde, mazekatonde, liga bo sakabonda. Yes, yes, yes. What I bind on earth, what I bind on earth, hey, what I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Ma kababo, legeda sakatunde, oh sakatunde sakatunde, liga babo sakalabado, rabakaro sate, lia kadunde, lia kadunde. Manzade, as I exercise my authority here, yes, as I exercise my authority, what I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Yes, authority is what we are talking about today. Thank you, Jesus. Makabo sukaronda. Makabo sukaronda. Liga baba babo sakanida. You will not die, you will leave. Your children will not die, they will leave. You will declare the goodness of the Lord. Makato tade. Makato tade. Makato tade. Ligado sakadone. What I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What I lose on earth, what I permit on earth shall be permitted in heaven. Maka sakade. Yes, I have the authority. Declare it on yourself. Declare that I have your you have the authority. Declare it. I have the authority. Jesus, give me the authority. Jesus, give me the authority. Jesus gave me the authority. Mata kasade, liako sukaronda, mandelebo sota. I have the authority. I have the authority. I have the authority. Yes, yes, I have the authority. Declared right now, Maka sutarende. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I have the authority. Yes, I have the authority. Manda ba ba ye legede, barugo sukaronde. Barugo sukaronde, barugo sukaronde, ma talega de, ma talega de, ma talega de, liga ba ba bo satayenda, liga ba ba bo satayenda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ma kasotare. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I have the authority. I have the authority. I have the authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declare that upon yourself right now. I have the authority. Kabo mm. Sukataramade. I have the authority. What I bind on earth shall be bound here in heaven. What I lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Manzo Katonde. Yes, open your mouth and declare. I have the authority. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you, our reading, see, it's only one verse we read today. And what is uh, the verse all about? It's in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 say listen let me tell you something let me tell you something this is not the time to sleep because more force do sleep you think i don't see you from here i see you from here you 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 doze off when you are praying so see this time this is the time to sleep 
You think I don't like to sleep? I like to sleep. Come on. So this is no time to sleep. I see you from here. When you sit on that chair, sometimes you will do off. You say, Amen. Ah, Amen. Amen. This is not the time to sleep. This is the time to exercise authority. Don't sit by your bedside. If you sit by your bedside, the foam is encouraging you to sleep. Get up. As I take the prayer points, Makaba, Labo Sukatarende, Legede Boswata, Magade Zato. As I take the prayer point, you move around your room. So I see you from here. So don't sleep on that chair. Yes, I, I, you think I don't see you? <laughs> Hallelujah! I see you from here, all over the world. America, Europe, look, I see you from here. You know, I see you. This is not the time to sleep. Because most times you just doze off. And you wake up saying, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You no, no, no. So, don't do that today. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, the passage we read is just one verse. And what is it all about? Look at it. Let me read the passage for you. Because it's just one verse. And the passage says, Behold. Come on. He said, Behold. Behold. I give you power. Aya. Kappa. Ligabo. Sakade. Hey. Who is saying this one? Jesus is the one saying it. Jesus is the one saying it to you and to me. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemies and nothing shall the enemies hurt you. Nothing. Nothing. Look at it here. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And all the powers, not some of the, all the powers, all the powers of the enemies. And nothing, 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 nothing shall by enemies hurt you. When I discovered this passage, my my look, audacity came because Jesus is the one that you know Jesus is the one that is saying this that he gave all of us authority so before we are going to begin to pray before we are going to begin to pray one of us celebrates his birthday today this person is a very special person to me. In fact, it's a, it's a family person. I, I stayed with them when I was in the U.S. for the lockdown. So the father of the house is celebrating his birthday today. Mr. Martins of Basui. Can we just wish Mr. Martins of Basui a very wonderful, beautiful, glorious birthday. Wow! <laughs> yeah. We wish our daddy a happy, wonderful birthday. And we pray that the hand of God will rest upon him and rest upon the family. We pray that the favor of God will not depart from his life. We pray that the favor of God this year will be renewed in a very strong and in a very wonderful way. We pray that our Father will live to see lengths of great days. We pray that the entire of us with his family we know the compassion of God this year. And that compassion will give them restoration. So help me to wish Big Daddy 
a happy birthday. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we love you. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> happy birthday, big daddy. Father Alfred loves you. Even if mama, <laughs> mama is saying, no, no, like, relax. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Happy birthday, big daddy. It is well with you. May you know great grace and favor. It is well with everybody. I miss you all. Happy birthday, big daddy. God bless you. Now, we are going to take our first prayer point today. And our first prayer point is the exercise of authority. Now, listen. How do you exercise authority? What gives you the backing? What gives you the backing? What gives you the effrontery? What gives you the, the, the audacity to exercise authority? One, because there is power in the name of Jesus. Because there is power in the blood of Jesus. Because there is power in the word of God. And whenever we use the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the word of God, I tell you, the enemy begins to bow. The reason why many people struggle. Somebody is asking for the Bible verse. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. The reason why many people struggle and situations seem to overtake them or overcome them number one they don't even know that they have authority hey yeah uh, no let ignorance ignorance is a killer so people don't even know that they have authority they don't even know you listen you have authority over satan do you when jesus resurrected he gave us further authority again you have authority Come on. See, listen to what I'm telling you now. It's very important. Number one, why is it that people, people, uh, uh, they seem to be overtaken, overwhelmed, and beaten down by the situations of life? One, they don't even know that they have authority. So, the mountain that they ought to exercise authority over, the mountain begins to overwhelm them. And what is the, what is the, what is the mountain? Biblically wise, a mountain is a problem. A mountain is an obstacle. A mountain is a limitation. A mountain is a setback. A mountain is a barricade. A mountain is something that retrogress you and keep you in one spot. A mountain is an impediment. These are the obstacles of life. The Bible calls it a mountain. But because you don't know that you have authority, you can you don't use it to your mountain. So there is always one problem or the other, one problem or the other, one problem or the other. There is power that you have. I have given you power. He said, "Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all power of the enemies, and nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Listen to me. You have authority. You have authority. You have power. Exercise your power. The reason why many people are overwhelmed by the situations of life is because, number one, they don't know that they have authority. Hey, yeah. Uh, if there is anything the devil will do today, he will not want me to do what I'm doing now. Because I am going to, I am exposing what I know you have. So the enemy, the enemy tries in deception. Why? Because he knows that you don't know you have authority. Anytime you hear the word devil or devil, 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 you have authority to put the devil where he belongs. Listen to me. You have authority. You have power. That's number one. So the reason why many people are overwhelmed by the situations of life, by the troubles of life, by the mountains that confront them, 
is because they don't know that they have authority. And Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They lack the knowledge that they have authority. They don't know. Look, I will not be surprised today that somebody online, you don't even know that this kind of passage exists in the Bible. You don't even know. Behold, I give unto you power. Jesus is the one talking. I give unto you power to tread on serpents, to tread on serpents and scorpions and all, listen, and all the power of the enemy, all of them, you have authority and power. And he said, when you do that, nothing shall by any means hurt you. In other words, no shaking. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. So, that is number one. So, ignorance of this is a killer. And Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed. Who are these people? The Bible called them God's people. My people. Hey, I have given them authority. I have given them power. But they are still being destroyed because they lack this knowledge. So when you lack this knowledge, you don't know you have authority. Oh no. Oh no. If you don't know you have authority, if you don't know you have authority, if you don't know you have authority, oh no. Oh no. You will not fulfill purpose at all. Because in fulfilling purpose, there are mountains that you must confront through warfare. And mountains that you must control through, confront through warfare, you exercise authority over them. That is one. The second reason why people are overwhelmed by the situations of life is because they are afraid. They are afraid. That is why. Uh, Paul speaking to Timothy said why are you afraid God has not given us a spirit of fear God has not given us a spirit of fear but the spirit of sound mind a spirit of power and, 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 and self control a lot of people are afraid instead they speak to their mountain with authority they just, they just resign they just, they just cry. They just cry. Jesus was a man of authority. He spoke to demons. He spoke to the wind. He spoke to the lame. He embarrassed situation. He, Jesus was a man of authority. He got to a point, they said, this man speaks with authority. We have never seen this kind of person before. When Jesus was preaching, he preached with authority. They must submitted to authority. That is the authority that he gave to us. No any other authority. He gave us the authority to put them, just as Jesus was embarrassing demons, telling them, get out, get out, go away. We can do it. He has given us the authority. But you see, you are looking at yourself. You are looking at your sins. And you disqualify yourself. Oh, you are not worthy. Come on. You are not the one that makes yourself worthy. The death of Jesus made you his righteousness. That was why the word of God says, we are the righteousness of Christ. Not by your own making. Not by your own making. It was... It, it, through his death, he made us his own righteousness. Am I communicating here? So these are the two things that have really hindered the move of power in the body of Christ. Because they don't know you have a, people, believers don't know they have authority. And number two, many are afraid. They are afraid. They are afraid of the mountain. They are afraid of that person. That they are afraid of the occult man. They are afraid of the uncle in the village who is a wicked native doctor. They are afraid. They cannot talk. Because if you have heard that this man died, that one died, so you don't want anything to happen to you, you are afraid. Ay, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. 
look, a native doctor was on this land that we are. This land, this land, a native doctor was here. But power have to contend with power. The, God told me, go with this dynamite. As he told Gideon, as he told Gideon, for the Alfred, go with this your mind. A mighty man of valor. That is who you are. Hallelujah. Let us go into prayer. Declare with me in the name of Jesus. Now you are going to not exercise authority with confidence because you have authority. You will speak to barrenness. Now today is your day. Today is your day. Come on. You will speak to barrenness. You will speak to that migraine headache. You will speak to situations in your life because you have authority. You will speak whatever the enemy stole. You will command the enemy to return. So what are you going to be using? I'm going to use the name of Jesus because there's a name that is above every name. And the name of Jesus, every name should bow. So you are going to use the name of Jesus. You are going to use the blood of the, the, the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. And, and the Lamb was slain. The Lamb was slain. And they overcame him, the devil, and the blood of the Lamb that was slain. And by the spoken word of their testimony, the spoken word of their testimony is the declaration of the word that will be coming out from your mouth. Then that makes you a winner and a victor. Hallelujah. 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 So let us go into prayer now. Thank you, Father. Declare with me by the power of the by the power in the name of Jesus. Declare by the power in the name of Jesus. I exercise authority over every work of the force of wickedness in my life. I exercise authority over every work of darkness. I exercise authority over every work of darkness. I exercise authority right now. I command that work to Caesar. I command that work to Caesar. Open your mouth and fire prayer. I exercise authority and power. I exercise authority and power over every work of darkness. I exercise authority and power. Declare unto yourself, I have authority. I have authority. I have authority. I have authority i have authority i have authority declare right now makaba sukatunde mandelebo sukare yes i exercise authority over the work of sickness over the work of sickness over the work of sickness, I exercise authority and power. I exercise authority and power over the work of sickness. I exercise authority and power. Oh, put your mouth and declare. I exercise authority. I exercise authority and power over every work of the enemy, over every work of sickness, over every work of barrenness. I exercise authority. I command this act of wickedness to Caesar. I command it out of wickedness to Caesar. Whatever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever I lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Open your mouth and begin to use authority. You have authority. Speak over that sickness. Speak over that poverty. Speak over that barrenness. Speak over that near success syndrome. Speak over that delay. You have the authority. Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and all the powers of the enemy. Hear me. And all the power and all the power and all the power and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall the enemies hurt you. Exercise authority now. The authority that Jesus gave you. Exercise authority. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Declare your authority in the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. There is authority in that name. There is power in that name. There is authority in that name. There is power in that name. What is it in your life that you don't like? What is the oppression around your family? What is the affliction around your life? Use the name of Jesus. There is authority right now. You have authority. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Makababo ligado sakadea. Ligado sakadea. Ligado sakadea. Makabo sakaye. Yes, speak to that situation. Command us ugly experience to stop. Command that ugly experience to go. There is authority in your mouth. You are exercising that authority today. He said, I have given you power. I have given you power. I have given you power. Now, begin to use that power. You have the power in the name of Jesus. You have the power in the name of Jesus. You have the power. Knowledge has come. You have the power in the name of Jesus. You have the power. You have the power. You have the power in the name of Jesus. In the name 
name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, I exercise authority over every work of the enemies. The work of limitation and delay. I exercise authority. I exercise power. I exercise authority. I exercise power. I exercise authority. I exercise power. Command that situation to turn around. There is power in your mouth. Mm. Exercise authority. Command that sickness to die. Command that affliction to go back. Command that affliction to go back. Command that affliction to go back. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is laying it in my heart right now. My spirit is being prompted. Yes, you have authority. There have never been celebration in your house for a long time. Declare it. Declare it that this year, in the name of Jesus, as you exercise authority, there shall be celebration in your house. Look, use your authority. You have authority. You have power. You can control situation. Come on. Jesus can never lie. He said, I have given you power. Use your power. Use it. As we pray right now, my spirit was prompted. And he said, somebody you are looking at me now. There has never been celebration for a long time. In fact, there's nothing. You look at nothing to really celebrate. Now, declare it now. You declare it. What I am telling you now, you declare it. Use authority. Declare that this year, in the name of Jesus, there shall be celebration in your house. It is your power. You command situation. For we, we serve the God that called those things that be not as though they were. You cannot be looking like that. Other people celebrate. You don't celebrate anything. You cannot be looking at like that. So even if there's nothing to celebrate, now call for celebration. Call for it. Call it forth. 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 You have the power. You have the authority. Hallelujah. 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 Exercise authority over closed doors. There will be closed doors in your life. There will be closed doors in your family. There will be closed doors around you. There will be closed doors. And you are just looking. You have power. You cannot look anymore. You cannot be looking anymore. You have power. You have power. You have power. You have power. Hear me. You have power. You have power. You have power. Exercise authority over that closed door. Exercise authority over that closed door. Exercise authority over that closed door. That everybody cannot just be down in your family. This knowledge has come to you today. Now, exercise authority. Command that door to be open. That door that you are praying, that you are praying and you are you are believing God for. Command the door of favor to be open. Command the door of promotion to be open. Command the door of restoration to be open. Command the door of change your story. The story of your family. You are not even proud to relate it. Command the story to change. There is power in you. Greater, 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 greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. There is power in you. Change the situation. There is power. Use the power that God has given to you. Jesus said, I have given you power. Behold, I have given you power. Power. Change the story of your family. Exercise your power. Exercise your authority. The devil can stay. The devil can stay. Why? The name of Jesus is greater than the devil. The blood of Jesus is an assault against the kingdom of darkness. Use the name of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus. There is power in you. There is power in you. There is power in you. You cannot remain like this. Hey, 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 hey. You cannot remain like this. Hey. You cannot remain like this. There is power. Use the power. God has given you power. Jesus announced it. He said, I have given you power. Hey, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. That knowledge has come today. Use the power. Use the power. Use the power. Use the power. Change the story of your family. Change the story of your marriage. You cannot remain like this. Enough is enough of this embarrassment. Enough is enough. Use your authority. Today is not the day to cry. Today is, to, today is the day to speak with holy anger. Holy anger in your spirit. Holy anger. Use your authority. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Makabo sukatarede. Mandeko sade. 
Mande Kosade, Mande Kosade, Maka Babo Sakala Dade. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Kali Babo Sakade. Change the story, change the story. Use your authority. Change the story. The story of your life. The story of your family. The story of your of your brother. You cannot relate it outside. But there is power in you. Change the story that is bringing embarrassment. You see, all this why, listen, all this why, we have been praying, oh Lord, change my story. Oh Lord, change. Now, knowledge has come. And the knowledge is, you have authority to do it. You have the power to do it. And you see, God will not be doing what he knows he has given you power to do. Come on. It's like a boss telling his, 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 his subordinate, this is your assignment. Where will you leave your assignment? And you want me to come up between your assignment? Your assignment now, knowledge has come. Speak to that situation. Exercise authority. You can't remain like this. Thank you, Jesus. You have been going from one hospital to another. You have been going from one hospital to another. From one medical appointment, physician appointment to another. You have been exercise authority. Exercise authority. Declare There is something called divine health. There is something called divine health. There is something called divine health. Exercise authority. Lay hold on divine health. Exercise authority. Lay hold on divine health. Exercise authority. Come on. Exercise authority. Lay hold on divine health. Let me tell you what happened to me many years ago. When I got knowledge about this authority thing, I was in St. Gabriel, my, my former parish, where I was transferred to where I am now. And I was writing my book. I was, there was a book I was writing. So I, I walk from like 8 o'clock in the, in the evening till like 12.30. I was walking on the book. And uh, when it got to 12.30, I slept. I told myself I will wake up by 4 o'clock to continue the writing of this book. I wake up by 4 o'clock. So, from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, about 4 hours, I've been able to do considerable work. Then I went to sleep. Listen, I went to sleep. By the time I woke up by 4 a.m., listen to me. By the time I woke up by 4 a.m., a, a boy had come to my armpit. A boy. It was a boy. I felt the pain. I felt the pain. Ah, what is this on my armpit? And I put my hand. Ah, it was a boy. This boy was not here a few hours ago. 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I did not see any boy on my armpits. So what is all this about? Come on. I put my hand on this boy. Hey. Heavy pain. I said no. This boy can't stay. This boy. This boy can't stay here. And I put my hand on the boy. I put my hand on the boy early at 4 a.m. And as I heard the boy, I heard the boy, and I screamed on my top voice. I said, Die! Oh, come on. And I cursed the boy. Jesus Christ. Us a victory, and the victory wither in the eyes of the apostles, their leaves were still there. But when they came back the following the, the morning, all the leaves has dropped. You are joking with your authority. I lay my hand on my armpit, I command the boy to die with a loud voice because this thing is coming like a boy. The enemy has plan. From boy, it can become something else. 
from something to something. Let us test it. They will say it has it, 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 it is cancerous. I'm telling you now. But I exercise authority. Do you know what happened? I exercise that authority by 4 a.m. By 11 o'clock in the morning. That same day, the boy, the boy ripened up and came out. That same day, that was when I knew the power of exercising the authority. That same day, the boy ripens up and came out. All the pulse came out. I did not go to bed that same day with the boy because I exercised holy anger. How dare you? This boy was not here a few hours ago. So before I slept and woke up now, the enemy has come. The enemy has come. But you see, if you don't understand spiritual things, you will say, ah, uh -uh. he's just boy now. How does that relate to the enemy? Hey, yeah. Uh, when men were sleeping, an enemy came at night and sowed bad seed. And one of the bad seed that any enemy can sow is sickness, is affliction, is infirmity, is disease. I rebuked it. I rebuked it. And I tell you, that same day, so you got to exercise authority. Knowledge has come. You are not, nobody is permitted to cry here today. It's the, today we are exercising holy anger as we exercise authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Can we take the next prayer point? This one is my father, my father, by your divine authority, everything today is about power and authority. As I exercise my authority, mm, my father, my father, as I exercise my authority, let the mockers, the mockers and the scorners, the mockers and the scorners of my dream, of my life, of my vision, let them see the fulfillment. Hallelujah. 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 My father, my father, as I exercise my authority, let them mock us of my dream. Let them mock us of my life. Let them see the fulfillment. <clears throat> Open your mouth and declare. Let them see the fulfillment. Open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. Hey, my father and my God, my father, my father, as I exercise my authority, as I exercise my authority, as I exercise my authority as I exercise my authority. Let them mock us. Let them mock us. Let them mock us of my dream. Let them mock us of my vision. Let them mock us of my dream. Let them see the fulfillment. I exercise authority. My dreams are coming to pass. I exercise my authority. I exercise power. My visions are coming to pass. My father and my God. My father and my God. Open your mouth and declare the mock us of your dream. The mock us of your life. The mock us of your marriage, the mockers of your situation, let them see, let them see, I declare they shall see the fulfillment, they shall see the hand of God at work in my life, I declare I exercise authority, they shall see the mockers of my life, the mockers of my dream, the mockers of my vision, I exercise authority in the name of Jesus, they shall see the power of God at work in my life, they shall see the move of God at work in my life, the Mockers, the mockers of my life, the mockers of my story, the mockers of my vision, the mockers of my dream, the mockers of my ministry, the mockers of my marriage. Oh, as I exercise authority at the middle of this night, hey, they shall see the fulfillment, they shall see the move of God, hey, they shall see the move of God, they shall see the move of God, they shall see the move of God, exercise authority and declare right now, hey, let the mockers, the mockers of your 
family, the mockers, the mockers of your vision, the mockers of your dream, exercise authority and declare in the name of Jesus, they shall see the move of God, 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 they shall see, they shall see, they shall see, they shall see, they shall see the move of God. Open your mouth and exercise the authority. Makabo sakade, liga babo nelegebo sakade. Yes, exercise authority. There is power. There is power. There is power. Quickly, let's go to the next prayer point. What is the next prayer point? By the power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is authority. By the power in the name of Jesus. That is authority. Let's go. By the power in the name of Jesus. Declare it. By the power in the name of Jesus. Makabo ligababo sakade mandelebo sukaronde. Declare with me. By the power in the name of Jesus. I overcome every giant in my land of Canaan. And what is your land of Canaan? It is your family. It is your business. It is your marriage. It is your it is your office. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. I overcome every giant in my land of Cana oh put your mouth and declare your authority I overcome by the power in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I overcome every giant in the land of my Cana I overcome every giant in the land of my Cana what is your Cana it is your marriage it is your business it is your it is your office I, it, it is your inheritance I exercise authority I exercise authority I exercise authority I exercise authority. Oh, put your mouth and declare. Makababo, ligado, sakarondo, ligabo, saye, ligabo, saye, ligabo, saye. I exercise authority. I exercise authority. I exercise authority over every giant. I exercise power over every giant in the land of my Kena. In the land of my Kena. What are you waiting for? Commander Giant to submit. You have the power. I have given you power. I have given you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. Command that giant to bow to the name of Jesus. You the name of Jesus. You the blood of Jesus. Command that giant to bow. Command that giant to bow. Command that giant to give up. Makadabo sitaye legede makasutaye makarende lelebo. Yes, command that giant to give up. Command that giant to give up. Command that giant to give up. I exercise authority over every giant in my land of Kena. I exercise authority over every giant in in the land my in the land of my kina exercise authority and power makababo sakami mm. mm 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 kali babo sakatalide oh put your mother and begin to pray you will not end up like this oh your life will not end up like this your story is changing Mandelebo Sakayone. Mandelebo Sakayone. Mandelebo Sakayone. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Kala Babo. Ligado Sakatarede. Oh, you have authority. Oh, you have authority. Hear me. You have authority. You have authority. You have authority. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, use the name of Jesus. 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 Come on. Use the name of Jesus. You have the authority. Thank you, Jesus. If there is anything the enemy will do is, is to walk so that you will never know you have authority. It's like somebody, it's like it's like Jesus telling you. Behold, I have deposited one million dollars in your account. Use it as you wish. And you did not now know. Or you are free to go and cash it. What kind, what kind of human being are you? That is authority. That authority to change story. That is authority. Use it. I have authority. 
as a parish priest of my parish to be a mistake not to use my authority of course you don't use your authority all the time or maybe you are just authority conscious i'm talking of intense of administration no? intense of administration out of wisdom or insight you may not want to use your authority but in spiritual matter spirit of god thank you holy spirit of god but in spiritual matter you must use your authority all the time it is a mistake not to use your authority in when it comes to spiritual matter when a mountain a giant is before you come on use your authority and put that mountain out of the way and put the giant where it belongs if there's anybody if there's anybody that knows how to use authority is david when he spoke to goliath here goliath thought it was a, it was a joke but he the stone broke his skull that's an authority everybody they all afraid we are all afraid david said who is this uncircumcised philistines that is threatening the armies of the lord that is bringing reproach to the name of the lord and there are many of us a lot of this, a lot of things have reproached us number one sickness have reproached us poverty have reproached us barrenness have reproached us delay have reproached us disfavor have reproached us closed doors have reproached us nothing to show in life have reproached us so what are you going to do use your authority come on hey yeah uh, you have authority use it every day speak to the mountain use your authority speak to the mountain speak to the mountain speak to the mountain you cannot close your mouth you have authority a closed mouth is a closed destiny use your authority come on there is power in your word use your authority use your authority i tell you the enemy the enemy the enemy the enemy cannot hurt you the serpent and scorpion cannot sting you we are going to take the next prayer points mm, thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell you next prayer point. My Father and my God, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, by this prayer encounter, declare it, by this prayer encounter, let my faith, F-A-T-E, let my faith in life fill many with all. Let my life bring a surprise to many. Let my faith in life feed many with awe. Use my life as a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Ah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I like this. I like this prayer point. Use my life to write a statement. Use my life. Use my life as a statement to the world. Father, use my life as a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Hallelujah. I like this one. Can we pray it? Can we pray it? Declare, my father, my father. Oh, declare, my father, my father. As I exercise my authority. Oh, father, use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Use my, my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Oh, pull your mouth and pray. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Father, use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Oh, pull your mouth and pray. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Oh, pull your mouth and take let that prayer now. Kaba babo suta ligado sae ligado sae ligado sae makasa katondo. Yes, open your mouth and declare. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God.
God. I like this prayer point. My Father and my God, as I exercise authority, as I exercise power, Father, use my life to make a statement. Father, use my life to make a statement. Father, use my life to make a statement. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Kabado Satade, Liga Babarondo, Rabakasede, Kalibarande, 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 Kalibarande. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Open your mouth and exercise authority. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. Masa Katalondo. Use my life, Lord. Oh, use my life, Lord. Use my life. Oh, use my life. Jesus, use my life. Mm, use my life to write a statement, to make a statement that you are a faithful God. Maka Babo Sakade. Miarondo Legeba Satayonde. Use my life to make a statement, Lord. Use my life to make a statement, Lord. Oh, put your mouth and exercise authority. Declare in the name of Jesus. Oh, use my life. Use my life. Use my life to make a statement. Use my life to make a statement. There is power. There is power. There is power. Use my life to make a statement. Oh, put your mouth and declare right now. Makababo, ligado sade, ligado sade, ligado sade, kalebabo satayane, masakaro, my father, my father, as I call upon you this midnight hour and exercise authority. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Father, use my life. Kababo sutarende, liado saya. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. As you be faithful to Job, Father, be, use my life to exercise. Use my life. Use my life to write a statement, to make a statement that you are a faithful God. That you are a faithful God. As you be faithful to Abraham, Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world. Father, use my marriage. Father, use my marriage to make a statement to the world. Father, use my ministry. Father, use my ministry to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Use my life. Open your mouth and declare it. I thank God to use your life to make a statement to the world. To make a statement to the world. To make a statement to the world. Use my life, Lord. Ma kalibabo rabade lege debo sukare de kalibabo sayadenda kalibabo sayadenda kalibabo sayadenda mandele debo kainda bo saye ma katane de. Yeah, use my life, Lord, to make a statement, to make a statement that you are a faithful God. Ha! Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ma sakatalondo. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Haya. Use my life. Use my life. Father, use my life to make a statement to the world that you are a faithful God. Use my life, Lord, to make a statement to my generation that you are a faithful God. Use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Oh, Father, use my life. Oh, Father, use my life. To make a statement. Thank you, Jesus. Father, use my life to make a statement that you are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. Use my life. Thank you, Jesus. Mata kabo sata ligado suka mandelebo ligado satayende ligado santayende ligado santayende mata kabila donde father use my life use my life father use my life father use my life father use my family father use my situation to write a statement that you are a faithful God is somebody pray with me hey kada kade satade ligado saka father use my life and situation father use my life and situation to 
announce to the world that you are a faithful God, to announce to the world that you are a good God, to announce to the world that you are an awesome God, to announce to the world that you are a powerful God. Father, use my life, use my life, use my life as you use the life of Daniel to announce to the world that you are a faithful God. Father, use my life, Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life and situation to announce to the world that you are a faithful God. To announce to the world that you are a good God. To announce to the world that you are a powerful God. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Father, use my life. Oh, put your mouth on fire prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Makali Babo Sakadoni. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. Masatalanade. Thank you, Jesus. Use the power of the Holy Ghost. Use the power of the Holy Ghost. Declare with me by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I refuse to fall under the assault and the manipulation of the spirit of fear. That is the spirit that enables me, that makes people not to you exercise authority. That is the spirit that makes people not to exercise authority. That is the, the spirit of fear. If I have fear, I will not be online doing what I'm doing now. I'm telling you now. If I have fear, I will not be online. I'm the praying in tongues. Ma kaliba, ma dele de bo, kaliba bo su karenda, ma zegede liago su tayende. Look, if I live in fear, I won't be praying in spirits. I won't be praying in spirits. I won't be speaking these mysteries. If I have this fear, no, the fear they are all gone. I pray in the spirit more than I, I pray in words. I pray in the spirit because I am convinced with what I'm saying. I'm convinced in my own spirit with what I'm doing. And if I were to be living in fear, if I were to fall to fear and to fall under the manipulation of fear, under the, the vindictive nature of fear, look, I will never be online to be ministering to you now on talk of or praying in the spirit. So fear is the number one obstacle that makes people not to exercise authority, not to exercise their power. And if you don't exercise your power, this will be reckless in your life. This will be, you will see spiritual chaos. Imagine a governor of a state not exercising his authority and power. You will see now, you will see, you see chaos everywhere now. Because I say, you are not exercising your authority and your power. So, in the lives of so many people, there are so many chaos. In the lives of, there is no orderliness. No order. Because you have refused to exercise authority that will bring order into your life. No orderliness at all. Because you don't have authority, or because you don't exercise authority, because you, you have authority, but you don't exercise it. Because the authority has been given to us, you need to exercise it. So we are going to pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I refuse to fall under the assault and the manipulation of the spirit of fear. Declare that with me. My father, my father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I refuse to fall under the assault and the manipulation of the spirit of fear. I refuse to fall. I refuse to fall under the assault. I refuse to fall under the assault of the spirit of fear. I refuse to fall under the manipulation, under the manipulation of the spirit of fear. Hey, I exercise authority over fear. I exercise authority over fear. 
fear I exercise authority over fear I exercise authority over fear I refuse to fall under the manipulation of the spirit of fear I refuse to fall 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 under the manipulation of the spirit of fear I refuse to fall open your mouth and fire prayer You are, you are, you are, you are there. You are, you, you are afraid of what will people say. Look at you. You don't even know that people are already saying. You are afraid. What will people say? What will people say? You, you don't even know that people are already saying. What will people say? Have ruined so many destiny. Many destinies have been ruined by this. What will people say? Those four words, the killer of purpose, the killer of dreams. What will people say? What will people say? You cannot pray in tongues. You cannot pray in tongues. You cannot pray. The Holy Ghost is giving you utterances. You are resisting the utterance because of what will people say? What will people say? What will people say? Are you you are you you are not are you you don't know that when you fail, they are still going to say. What will people say? If I had followed what will people say, I would not be here now. Because, come on, let them say. It is they are the owner of their mouth. They can use their mouth to say. What is your business with what they say? It is their mouth. It's not your mouth. It's not your mouth. They have the right to say what they want to say. You have the right on your own not to allow what they say to enter through your skin. Because they will always say. So, you want to not let what people say be affecting your relationship with God? That would be a mistake. That would be a mistake. People will always say to so exercise authority. Speak in that tongue the utterance that 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 the, that the Holy Ghost is giving to you. Use it. I tell you, you will see. You will be amazed at the at the rain that you are going to be at the rain, the zenith of your spiritual life. If I were to bow to fear and the manipulation, the manipulation of fear, I will not be online now. See, I'm, I'm praying for you. Because what I'm doing now is a global thing. It's a global thing. It's a global thing. I refuse to fall under the manipulation of the spirit of fear. Somebody declared that I refuse to fall. I refuse to fall. I exercise authority over fear. I exercise authority over timidity. I exercise authority. Open your mouth and exercise authority. I exercise authority. I exercise authority over timidity. I exercise authority over fear. I exercise authority over the threat of heart. I exercise authority. I exercise authority. I refuse to fear. I refuse to give it to fear. I refuse to give it to fear. Hey, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we are going to exercise authority. We are going to exercise authority over mountains of life. What are the mountains of life? They are the problem of life. They are problems. So, we are going to exercise authority. And see, there is no better time to exercise that authority than in the middle of the night. The, my best time to pray is the middle of the night. An early hour, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., is my best time to pray. Phone does not ring at that time. There's no horn. Pa, 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 pa. No horn. Nobody knocks at your door at that time. That's the best time. No wonder Jesus used the same time often in his ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Now we are going to move mountains. Use a, look, if you don't exercise authority here today, I don't know why you are online. I don't know why you have to come online. So we are going to exercise authority over sickness. Let's go. One, we see, three minutes. Uh, Three minutes or two minutes each. Now, 
authority over sickness. Because the Bible says how uh, uh, Acts chapter 10 verse 38, uh, Acts chapter 10 verse 38, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. See, with power, with power. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good? Who went about doing good and delivering those who were oppressed by the devil? For the Lord God was with him. How were they oppressed by the devil? He was healing them. He was healing those who were oppressed by the devil. Healing, oppressed, healing, oppressed. So oppression is affliction. Oppression. Satanic oppression is an affliction that the devil put on people. And one of such affliction is sickness. So now, use the next two minutes. I exercise authority over sickness. Makali Babo Shakade. I exercise authority over sickness. Oh, call that sickness by name. Command that sickness to go. Command that sickness to drive from the root. Command that sickness to drive from the root. Command that sickness to drive from the root. Call that sickness by name. Call that sickness by name. Makata Ligado. Liga Babo Sakata Londo. Ligaronde. 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 Barebo Sakarede. Barebo Sakarede. Barebo Sakarede. Call that sickness by name. Call that sickness by name. Command that sickness to go. Command that mountain of sickness to go. The mountain of migraine headache. The mountain of asthma. The mountain of stomach ulcer. The mountain of cancer commanded to go. Kibabo Sakade exercise authority. There is power in your word. There is power in your word. Exercise authority. Command the mountain to go. Kiabo Suta. Kiabo Suta. Kale Babonde. Liagade Sadade. The mountain of stroke. The mountain of stroke. stroke. The affliction of stroke. I command you to go. I command you to go. I command you to go. I speak to diabetes. I I command you to die. I speak to diabetes. I command you to die. I speak to diabetes. I speak to high blood pressure. I command you to be normal. I command you to be normal. I command you to be normal. I speak to hepatitis B. I command you to go. I speak to HIV. I command you to go. I speak to COVID-19. Hey, that plague upon the land. I command you to go. 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 I speak to COVID-19. I speak to COVID-19 that is ravaging the world. I command you to go. I command the mountain of COVID-19. I say go in the name of Jesus. I say go in the name of Jesus. I say go in the name of Jesus. I speak to the mountain of COVID-19. I say go. I exercise authority over that mountain. I exercise authority over that mountain. I speak to that. I exercise authority to that kidney malfunctioning. To that kidney malfunctioning. To that insanity. I exercise authority over that insanity. I exercise authority. I exercise authority. I command insanity to go. I command insanity to go. I command asthma to go. I command asthma to go. I speak to epilepsy. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You have the power. Use it. Don't see yourself as inferior. You were not the one that asked God to give you the authority. He knows that you will, you will need the authority in your journey of life. So use the authority and put the devil where it belongs. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we are going to exercise authority over poverty. Hey, yeah. Poverty. Hey. Poverty. Poverty. Hmm. We are going to exercise authority over poverty. Every poverty that have a root in my family, I uproot you. I exercise authority over every root of poverty. I exercise authority. I exercise authority over every root of poverty in my family. I command that root to dry. 
I command that root to dry. Hey, yeah. What, what a prayer point. I command that root to dry. I exercise authority. I exercise authority. I exercise authority over every root of poverty in my family bloodline. I exercise authority over every root of poverty in my family bloodline. I exercise authority over every root of poverty in my family bloodline. I command the root to dry up. I command the root to dry up. I command the root to wither. I command the root to die. Open your mouth and exercise authority over poverty. Kadade ligado sakatarondo yagadade do sada. I command I exercise authority. I command the root of every poverty in my family bloodline to dry up, 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 to dry up. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Thank you, Jesus. My life will not end like this. I will not die like this. Oh, come on. Exercise authority. Do you know that Jesus spoke to the wind? He exercised authority over the wind. The wind obeyed him. He exercised authority over the sea. The sea had no choice. He spoke to the fig tree. The fig tree withered. He spoke to Lazarus, a dead man, got off from the grave after four days being buried. He spoke to situations. Everything was subjected to him. If you know the power of your words, you will be saying, I boldly declare. I boldly declare. I boldly declare. Maka Tali Bado. Exercise authority over poverty. Every root of poverty in my family bloodline. I command that root to die. I command that root to dry up. Every root of poverty in my family bloodline. Die and dry up. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. Dry up and die. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Now we are going to exercise authority quickly over uh, limitation and delay. Why are you? What is limiting you? What is delaying you? Limitation and delay. You are breaking out. You are breaking out from the grip of limitation and delay. Exercise authority. You are breaking out. You are breaking out from the root of limitation. From the root of limitation and delay. From the root of limitation and delay, from the root of limitation and delay, you are breaking out. Exercise authority over limitation and delay. Exercise authority over limitation and delay. Exercise authority over limitation and delay. Over limitation. Every grip of limitation in my life. I command that grip to lose. I command that grip to loosen up. I command that grip to lose it up. I command that grip to lose it up. Every grip of limitation. Every bondage of delay be destroyed. Every bondage of delay, exercise authority over delay and limitation. Mata Kaliba Rabade Kaliba Bo Sakatade Mandelebo Kayede 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 Se Prenosa Se Prenosa Se Prenosa Kaliba Bo Shatade. I exercise authority. I exercise authority. I exercise authority over limitation and delay. Over limitation and delay. Over limitation and delay. I take authority in the name of Jesus, I overcome limitation and delay. I overcome limitations and delay. I overcome lim 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 limitation and delay. Open your mouth and declare and command. Yes, there is power in your mouth. I exercise authority over limitations and delay. I exercise authority over limitations and delay. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Exercise authority over limitations and delay. I break out from the roots of limitation and delay in my life. Ma Kali Babo Saturday. I break out. I break out. I break out. There is power in your word. Jesus has given you the authority. Use it. Thank you, Jesus. Claim your healing. Come on. Now let me tell you. Let me tell you. In our walk with God, in our walk with God. There are bound to be trials and temptation. In our walk with God, 
Jesus said in um, John chapter 16 verse 33 he said in the world you will meet tribulation he said but be of good chairs for I have overcome the world so in our walk with Jesus in our walk with Jesus there are going to be many mountains it may be mountain of sickness why is it that mountains that confront people sometimes hold them down for a long time listen to this one number one reason is the people that you surround yourself with when you face any mountain watch out the people that comes around you watch out for the people that speak at that time what they say may keep you down or may encourage you out but if anybody becomes negative and give you reports that this situation so and so have died though so and so have died though so and so have died though lock up your ear and delete that person at that moment from your phone number because anytime your that person calls you is going to give you a negative report block that person for that moment you may you may uh, open you may unblock the person later but for that moment where you are going through this situation somebody starts speaking negatively oh come on the environment you surround the environment where you are planted will determine whether you will grow you are a seed nothing is wrong with you as a seed but it depends on where you are planted if you are planted in a negative environment you can't grow there anointing does not work listen to me listen to me anointing does not work in a negative environment ask jesus he will tell you when he came to his own town he tried to start doing ministry and perform miracle the people rebuked him if he was he, said he could not perform any miracle in his own place why negative people negative people so you are a seed if you get yourself planted in the negative environment i say you your seed cannot grow you need people whose mind whose spirit is, is active who will tell you brother who will tell you sister come on you are getting out of this situation come on the grace of god is sufficient for you hey sister 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 come on wipe that yes you are the esther of your generation you are coming out strong you are coming out with uh, uh, you are coming out victorious it shall end in praise that is what you want to hear when you are confronting mountains but there are people who are so negative they will be telling you how many people that have died of COVID-19 is that what you want to hear as at that time let the weak say I am strong not narrating weakness so the people you surround yourself with the people who comes to say they are your friends oh come on they can further frustrate you in the time of confronting a mountain if you don't know what to do. So you block your friends who are speaking negative. You block the people who are so negative-minded. You block the people who don't know how to talk. You block the people who sink you further, in, 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 who sink your spirit further into, into the abyss of depression. You, you, you block these people and let the right people come around you to encourage you. And when you are confronting mountains, your friends must be few because only few that believe in you, not everybody. I wish I am communicating here. It's only very few that believes in you not everybody so pick out only those that believe in you and let them encourage you let them encourage you a lot of people want to glory in your affliction a lot of people are happy by your situation 
So don't listen to those things. The, only the right people, they will encourage you out of the situation. Not the wrong people who will tell you you cannot do it. Who will tell you you don't need, who will, who will tell you that this same sickness you are, hey, he, 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 oh, you see this sickness? Oh, he, that was what killed the daughter of, uh, that was what killed the son of, hey, what killed others cannot kill you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What killed others cannot kill you. What stop others cannot stop you. What hinder others cannot hinder you. Come on. That is why a lot of a lot of mountains overwhelm people. When you hear of these negative things, your spirit will just sink. You cannot exercise authority anymore. In fact, you will not even believe that you have authority at all. Because of the people around you. You have surrounded yourself with negative people. People who don't have who don't have, who don't know what it is to exercise authority. So the people you surround yourself with matters a lot. It listen to me, it matters a lot, oh, because it doesn't matter how I pray for you here. I pray for you, I pray for you, I prophesy. If you surround yourself with negative people, it will oh come on. You may see the prophetic, the, the prophecy, you see it, but because of the negative people. You have to send them packing. This is a new year. This is a new year. This is a new year. You have to send negative people packing. You cannot dwell in the environment of negative people. If you take a seed and plant it in a pot, it will only grow to some extent. That, that seed can never grow to, to the the way it will grow. Is it that the seed is not good? No, the seed is good. It is the environment you planted the seed. If you take that same seed and plant it in a forest, in a bush, watch how the seed grow. So, what determines a seed growing well or not growing well is the environment. So, when you surround yourself with good people, they push you to the greater height of your destiny and you will fulfill purpose. But when you surround yourself, your environment, they are all negative people. You can't do well in a negative environment. They kill your spirit and they do you. The reason why Jesus has to, why Jesus has to quickly leave his own place. He left Nazareth immediately. He came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And when they began to preach and exercise authority, they said, what is this one saying? Is this one not the son of Mary? See this one. Is he, is he not the son of, 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 of Joseph, the carpenter? The father even did, 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 he did by wardrobe. He did it. He had not finished it. Is it not the song? Where, where did he get all this guy with from? I beg you, they commonize the anointing of Jesus. Jesus could not perform any miracle. The reason why many people cannot exercise authority is because of the kind of people you put around yourself. You put wrong people, wrong friends. The only thing they talk around you, they are negative things. And so, it kills your spirit. It kills your spirit. It dampens your spirit. You cannot pray. You cannot pray. You cannot pray. Jesus has to run away from Nazareth. He ran away because he could not perform any miracle there. Because they were reproaching and making nonsense of his anointing. He had to run. So, you have to leave the place where you are tolerated and go to the place where you are celebrated. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You have to leave the place where you are tolerated, where you are tolerated, where you are tolerated, and go to the place where you are celebrated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So, don't, don't joke with this year, 2021, and surround yourself with negative people. No! Negative words. Come on! They will kill your zeal. They will kill your enthusiasm. They will tell you it will not work. If you believe that negative report, your potential will 
die inside you and never to be utilized. Stretch yourself and connect with the right people. That's right. Now that is what our platform, our ministry stands for. Not negative people here. I don't dare, I don't tell you you will die. No, you will not die, you will live. Even if other, even the people are dying around you, Father Alfred will tell you a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand around you, but you will not stop you. That is my ministry. No, no negative words. No, never. I'm here to push you to fulfill purpose. I'm here to push you to fulfill destiny. I'm here to push you. I'm here to push you to the zenith of your career, to the word I speak over you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Let me prophesy on somebody right now before we go for today. Hey, Ali Babo Sakade. Lega Babo Sandede. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or surround yourself with negative people. They will say you are proud. Let them say you are proud. No problem. But you know what you are pursuing. How come ego don't fly with other bed? How come ego don't fly with other bed? Let them say you are proud. The moon, the moon and the sun shine brighter when they are alone. Come on. Don't, don't be discouraged by those words. Oh, uh, uh, this one, that No, 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 no. If you know the destiny you carry, you, may, you will know that, look, the brightness of the sun is made manifest, being alone to shine. I better walk alone than walk with a bunch of individuals that they don't have anywhere they are going. I better walk alone and walk with a bunch of individuals that don't have anywhere they are going. But I better have where I'm going. And the man that has where he's going, is always is always in a hurry to get there. Watch a driver that doesn't have where he's going. The driver driving the car. He's not in a hurry. The driver is not in a hurry. Just driving. He's not going to, he doesn't have where he's going. But you that have where you are going, you will blow the horn. Pa pa pa! I have where I'm going. Thank you, Jesus. Ma Kali Babonde. Liga Dado Sade, Liga Dado Sade. Let me prophesy victory. Because as we exercise authority, it will end in victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Victory, victory, victory. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> hey, don't forget that Father Alfred does not send friends Facebook friend requests. Don't forget that. I don't say face, so don't receive any Facebook friend request from anybody. I don't organize any mentorship group. Don't 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 send any money to one uh, 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 account of a, a Kogi no or a Kaduna. They are all uh, scammers. Don't listen to them. If you want to reach, reach out to me directly. If you want my number, I will give you again. If you want my number, I will give you. So you are if you want to don't pay any money until you confirm. They are all everywhere. You can imagine, you can imagine prayer this night. Scammers are awake. Instead of praying, they, they are looking for to scam. What a business. <laughs> what a business. Instead of praying, you are online looking for who to scam. Eh? Hey, what a business. Who did this to you? What a business. Instead of praying, you have a purpose. You are just there scamming. You want to scam. So you are awake. Look at Totu. Almost 20 minutes to 2 a.m. You are awake as a scammer. What a job. Hey, watch that way here. <laughs> hey! I stretch forth my hands. And I prophesy upon you in the name of Jesus. 
I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you operate in the realm of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to receive it. You operate in the realm of victory. You operate in the realm of victory. You operate in the realm of victory. Yes, claim victory. Yes, I, I prophesy on you. You operate in the realm, the realm of victory. The realm of victory. Kali Babo Sadade. Yes. You are a victor. You are a winner. You are a victor. You are a winner. You are an overcomer in the name of Jesus. I prophesy you are a victor. You are a winner. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer in the name of Jesus. I prophesy on you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God is propelling you for victory in every area of your life. The hand of God is propelling you for victory. He's propelling you for victory in every area of your life. Yes, you are a world overcomer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody begin to receive. Receive. We are closing in a few minutes. Yes, you are a world overcomer. You are a world overcomer. You are a world overcomer because of because you are born of God and your victory over the world is your faith. You are born of God. You are born of God. You are born of God. And the victory over your, your victory over the world is your faith. I prophesy on you in the name of Jesus that you are victorious in in your good fight of faith you are victorious in your good fight of faith you are victorious in your good fight of faith you are victorious in the exercise of your authority you are victorious in the exercise of your power somebody receive it in the name of jesus the battle of life is not yours the battle is the lord's hallelujah you are more than conqueror in the name of jesus you are more than conqueror in the name of jesus you are more than conqueror in the name of jesus i prophesy on you you are victorious over the limitations of life you are victorious over the limitations of life yes you are victorious over sickness and infirmity you are victorious over sickness declared upon your life declared upon your house declared upon your family you are victorious over sickness and infirmity and any form of medical condition i prophesy this night you are victorious over every form of medical condition i prophesy on you this night you are victorious over every form of medical condition i declare it once again on you you are victorious over every form of medical condition and lack yes you are victorious over untimely death hallelujah 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 you are victorious over untimely death you are victorious over premature death you will not die, you will live your children will not die, they will live no one is permitted to die this year no one is permitted to die in your family, you shall not die you will live, you are victorious over premature death, for he has said with long life, he will satisfy you, for the word of God says with long life, he will satisfy you that Psalm 91 verse 16 says, with long life, with long life, with long life, with long life, he will satisfy you hear me, you are not dying now in the name of Jesus your children are not dying now in the name of Jesus with long life God will satisfy you with long life God will satisfy you with long life God will satisfy you I prophesy on you in the name of Jesus that because God has given you victory, therefore no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Because God has given you victory, because Jesus has given you victory, therefore no weapon, therefore no weapon, therefore no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And before the eyes of your foes, before the eyes of your enemies, I prophesy, you shall arise and shine in victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Before the eyes of your enemies, before the eyes of your foes, you shall arise and shine in victory you shall arise and shine in victory i prophesy in the name of jesus Martha Kade, that you are a victor you sit in the company of victors you sit in the company of victors you walk the path of victory you walk the path of victory you are victorious over the evil over the evil one through the blood of the lamb and the spoken words of your victorious testimony you are victorious you are victorious over the evil one hear me and hear me clearly you are victorious over the evil one through the blood of the lamb and the spoken words of your victorious testimony victory is part and parcel hear me victory is part and parcel victory is part and parcel of your redemption in christ 
victory is part and parcel of your redemption in Christ. Therefore, you are delivered from the oppression of darkness. You are delivered from the oppression of darkness and the manipulation of the wicked one. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered from the oppression of darkness and the manipulation of the wicked one. You are delivered. I prophesy upon your life in the name of Jesus that as he has said, Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through Christ Jesus so that you may both be say you are a victor and never a loser. You are a victor and never a victim. You are a victor and never a victim. You operate in the victory won on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You operate in the victory. You operate in the victory won on the cross of Calvary. No devil can hinder you. No limitation can stop you. No devil can hinder you. No limitation can can stop you. I prophesy, I prophesy, I prophesy on you in the name of Jesus that the victory of God is established over you. The victory of God is established over you. Therefore, I exercise you exercise dominion and you shall reign on earth. You shall exercise dominion. Hear me? You shall exercise dominion as you reign on earth. You shall exercise dominion as you reign on earth. The victory of God is assured over you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. 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 Let believers shout amen several times. Makaliga Mandeleo, Liga Barondo, Liga Bo Sagade, Liga Do Sagade, Liga Do Sagade, Liga Do Sagade. Let the believers shout aloud, Amen. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Makali Bado Sagade. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Now, before we go, begin to share the video right now. Oh, press the share button. Press the share button. Let us go. Let the victor in the house. Let the victorious in the house begin to share this video right now. If you know you are a victor, click on the share button and let somebody also be a victor. Begin to share the video right now. Let us go, Kabado, 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 Liga Babo Sandea, 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 Makata Ledado. Thank you, Jesus. You are a victor and not a victim. You are a victor and not a victim. Masakatadea. Exercise your authority. Never again will you keep quiet. Speak to that situation. Command your testimony. Speak to barrenness. Speak to closed doors. Exercise authority. And so you will get what you say. You will receive what you say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't forget that Father Alfred loves you dearly. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon, no weapon. Begin to share the video right now. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to share the video right now. Let's go. Kabado Sakadea. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hear me before we go. I have two minutes to go. Those of us that indicated that you're, you want to be uh, sponsored, and I saw you, and uh, I have already written your name, so the, the register is, in the, is, is not here right now. Uh, some people still send money to say register those who cannot send money so I am doing that straight away when I even finish from if I finish right now I am going to now get the register because I still have some names that are yet to be entered in the register so make sure your names are in the register for dwelling in his presence what do we do we just pay 2,000 naira, and your name, you send your name, we we'll put it in the register. And the purpose of the 2,000 naira is the votive mass and other intentions of yours that we are going to be praying over in the course of this year. It's just 2,000 naira. What a cheap money. What a cheap money. Just 2,000 naira. So if your names have not been written, please do so. Send 2,000 naira. But somebody sent like money for like five people for 10 people for three people and those who indicated interest that i saw yesterday that i wrote down 
I have already transferred their name to the register of dwelling in the presence of the living God. I want to let you know that Father Alfred loves you dearly. You are my project in 2021. My God will bless you and do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Hear me again. Don't fall to scammers. Don't fall to uh, people who are desperate, who don't know the power of God that they are dealing with. But I tell you, um, the favor of God will not depart from you. I tell you, the favor of God will not depart from you. So don't fall to scammers. Don't fall to any of these people. Confirm from Father Alfred. Amen. And so if you want the if you want the account details for the to register in dwelling in his presence, just send a message on my WhatsApp. Take my WhatsApp number. It's my what this is my WhatsApp number. So confirm. Yes, I will. Yes, where do we send to? Yes, I'm giving you my WhatsApp number now. I will now send you the accounts through my WhatsApp number, you know, and you will do that. As soon as you do that, I transfer your name. If I, when I finish right now, I'm going to do that because we still have some names that are yet to be transferred. So quickly take my WhatsApp number. Always confirm for Father Alfred. Don't pay money to anybody without confirming for Father Alfred. Don't pay money. Don't pay a dime without confirming for Father Alfred. I don't run, I don't run any mentorship program. I don't run any mentorship program. I don't look into your profile and say, I don't know anything, I don't know you anything about you, but the Lord, they are all scammers who are using the name of the Lord to play, you know, and it's, it's a sin, a terrible sin, you know, so take my, take my WhatsApp number. It's only on WhatsApp, please. No call. Only WhatsApp, please. Plus two three four. Write it down. Plus two three four. Okay. Eight zero three. Three eight two zero. Two nine one. Okay. Plus two three four. Eight zero three. Three eight two zero. Two nine one. That is my WhatsApp number. So, um, I tell you. Uh, God will bless you. Helene Lee John. Okay, you need a sponsor. I will write your name now. Helene Lee John. I will put your name in the register. Helene, it's nice. Helene Lee John. I just saw you now. You said you need a sponsor. Okay. Helene Lee John. Helene Lee John. Okay. I will do that right now when I, I you know, log out from this platform. Father Alfred loves you dearly. I will see you again tomorrow. Therefore, tomorrow, what are you supposed to pray about? Tomorrow is day 14. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tomorrow is creating. Oh, I love this one. Please, let somebody be your light tomorrow. Created to prosper in health. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Day 14. Created to prosper in health, not in sickness. Get ready for tomorrow. And where are you reading from? You are reading from Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. That is what uh, Cindy Omo Michaels. You need a sponsor. Cindy Omo Michaels. Hallelujah. Cindy. Michaels. You need a sponsor. Okay. By the grace of God, I'll I'll do that for you. I'll, I'm, I'm going to play this video again. And if I see anybody that said they need a sponsor, then you are going to be fine. Tina or do Mary, you are not sick. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I stretch forth my hand towards Tina. And I declare over you, Tina, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. May you know healing grace and mercy in the name of Jesus. I command that sickness to dry up. I command that sickness to depart from you. The hand of God rests upon you now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you are blessed in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tina, you are healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some people have been finding it, finding it as a problem to send money. But by the grace of God, you can use world remit now. 
world remit can go. A world remit can go. So, in case you want to bless the ministry, you want to work, you want to bless your man of God, use world remit. And that can go now. The world remit is so perfect. There's no stress about it at all. But don't let anybody deceive you. There are scammers around. And I pray that God forgive them. You know, it is well with you. Father Alfred lost you dearly. Tomorrow we are going to be praying. Created to prosper in health. Let somebody be aware. And favor will not depart from you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the good things and the blessings over our orphans. May God bless you. And may he do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Amen. The Lord be with you. Rosanna. Rosanna needs a sponsor. Rosanna needs a sponsor. Rosanna. Rosanna. Okay. Rosanna. No problem. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay blessed. And remain blessed. I'll see you again when we pray together tomorrow. Created to prosper in health. Amen. God bless you. Have a good night. Helene, Ubi Yo Yo. You need a sponsor? Hallelujah. God bless you. Good night.